Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn what is PIP or which is also known as Package Manager for Python or Package Installer for Python. I remember that way, Package Installer for Python. So this is responsible for managing packages. What are those packages and how do you, I mean, how do you really manage what are this, right? So if you have these basic questions, this video is going to help you. So please do help me by subscribing to my channel. So let's get started. Okay. First of all, what you do, uh, you open command prompt. Okay. Let me open command prompt to understand pip. First thing you do, open command prompt. Now in the command prompt, first of all, we understood the definition package installer for Python. I call it that way. So it is a package manager for Python. So first of all, let me see if I have pip for that. How do you check if I, if I ask you, Hey, can you check which version of Python you have on your system? So you write Python and then you write version, right? This is how you check. So let me enlarge the screen. Okay. So this is how you check. So it tells you right now I have the latest package as of date 3.10.5. Same way. If I ask you the package installer for Python, if you, if I ask you pip, what is the version? So it goes with the same syntax. If you type PIP version, it's going to tell you which version of PIP that you currently have on your system. Okay. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. So it is telling me 22.0.4 and this one is there inside the side packages. Pip. The moment you see this, what you do, you should always visit this place just to see uh, where this is located. So C program files, Python, whatever the location it shows to you, go to that location once. So let me go to C drive program files and then it said Python 310, of course. So let's go to Python 310 and then it said uh, lib, which stands for library and then script side packages, right? Side packages and pip. So here you can see there's a pip folder, pip 22.0.4 distribution info. Okay. So this folder is there. Okay. So right now we got 22.0.4 version of pip. Now, uh, the next thing that we would like to know, so we have understood how to check the pip version, right? If I need, uh, so package installer, right? That, that means it should help us to install packages, upgrade packages, delete packages, anything related to managing packages, right? Anything I would like to manage around the package, remove package. So how to do that? First of all, I should know the, all the syntaxes. If I write pip and if you write minus, um, H that means, um, help. Okay. So the moment I hit enter. Okay. So what happened hyphen, um, H. So when I write, so it gives me list of commands. Like how, if you would like to install, then you need to use the command called install. If you would like to download, then you have to use it called download, uninstall, freeze, list, show. There are multiple things that one should, one can use it. Okay. So let me clear the screen. Okay. So, you know, how to check my, you know, how to get help on pip is simply any command in Python, just writing, uh, you know, uh, dash H. If you write, it is going to give you the required list of commands. Now, the next thing. Um, there is very important aspect. Okay. Um, uh, what is that? I'll let you know your pip, right? To check pip list or use any other command, you have to go to something called scripts. Okay. So for example, let me show you if I go to C drive program files and then open Python. So this Python 3.10 could be in a different location for you. It could be C drive uses your name and then app data, local programs and that in that you should have the Python, um, um, you know, whatever the Python version that you are using, it could be anything. Okay. So it could be in that specific place, right? Um, or it could be, uh, one zero. Okay. So there'll be script folder. Look for that script folder. Okay. For me, I have installed, I have made a customized installation. That's why it is inside here. So here is the script file. This file, this file, anything you want to deal with uh, pip, right? So this is required. So let me copy this. I am going to copy the path. I'll go to the command prompt. Look at this. So it could be a different path for you. For me, it is program files. It, for you, it could be application data 
local program so go there to this location on your c drive and check that where you have this script folder finally you need to reach to the script folder so once you get the location of the script folder i am going to change the directory okay change the directory space and enter that copy paste and hit on enter so what would happen it is now pointing into that specific folder now anything i would like to do for example i want to list what are the currently what are the packages available in my system okay so in the script folder 3.10 pip3 pip the, these are the couple of uh, so what are the current packages so let me check it through the command prompt the moment i type pip list so it will give me what are the current packages which are currently there so i have got, got two packages one is the pip package the other one is the setup tools package and it is giving me a warning you are using pip version 20.0.4 However, there is a 22.1.2 is available. You should consider upgrading by the uh, 3.10 Python.exe m install upgrade. So it is telling you how to even do that. Um, uh, uh, you can copy paste this entire thing and you can do it. Or else there is also a different a different way. Let me try that. So you can also use this command uh, pip list. We have understood pip install upgrade pip. Okay, so we can try this command pip install upgrade pip so let me try this let's see that if there is any kind of an error defaulting to user installation because normal site package is not uh, writable requirement already satisfied pip c program 22.0.4 collecting pip okay installing collected packages for pip so it is doing the installation so this this way you can upgrade the current version of pip it gives you the command you can try the above command too um, and upgrade your current pip to the new one installing collected packages pip so this is going to take a uh, few minutes of time so let's wait for this to complete and then um, let's so once the pip is upgraded so i am here trying to upgrade it okay once it is upgraded i would like to install some package so there could be multiple packages okay we are going to see one example of a package which i am going to install and show you okay so here uh, successfully installed pip so if i see if i type pip version from it was 22.0.4 right uh, now it is 22.1.2 22 22.0 .2, 22.0.2 1.2 it has become okay so it has been upgraded okay very good so once it has upgraded uh, let me install a package okay so i need to install a package so to install a package all you need to do you need to say pip install this is the command and then what is that package name let's say here i want to use camel case okay install camel case you have to give the package name and hit on enter Okay, collecting camel case, downloading camel case, uh, running setup install camel case done successfully installed camel case 0.2. So the camel case is now installed. So I have installed a package which is not there. Now if you see pip and list if I do hit on enter. Last time it was showing only two right. Now you can see camel case package is also there now. I have installed camel case pip setup tools likewise in the future whatever the package is required depending on your requirement you can install those packages if you know the name okay so now here i am going with the simple one camel case future you know in the future we are going to see more things around the pip installation and a couple of other packages that we need while building the project i am going to talk about that but as of now let's go with simple one camel case now let's open pycharm okay so now in the pycharm let me try to import camel case so this package is installed so i'm going to import the package to my py file okay so uh, here it is giving a warning let's see that um, no module named uh, camel kit so it's not able to uh, find that i think i need to restart it okay uh, meanwhile let's use the idle idle this is again the more like pycharm this is given for from python uh, to practice integrated development learning environment which I have shown in my starting couple of my videos so let me open this and inside this we are going to try okay if I can import the camel case and do the rest of the things okay so here let me open a file uh, let me try it here first import camel case is it working 
yeah it worked okay no error import camel case uh, now let me create an object x is equal to camel case dot camel case uh, this is the i think this is written in this way camel case hit on enter so now the object has been created with camel case now if i say print and if i'm going to say x um uh, dot there is something called there is a method called hump okay now within the hump if i pass a text let's say i am going to write all in lower case hello world okay so now i am passing this let's see hit on enter so you can see it has been converted this all thing to camel case getting it so this is one of the package which i have installed which helped me to uh change it to camel case so likewise there are multiple packages which anyways we are going to learn but again as a basic knowledge you have got it from this video as to what is a pip okay so what are the things that we have learned let's go back to the notepad escape yeah so let me go back to the notepad so we understood how to check the pip version how to check the different commands by taking help okay writing h and then uh, going to the script folder and then trying to list out what are the current packages currently available and then uh, using pip list by typing pip list and then um, you know if it is giving you a prompt to upgrade your pip then pip install upgrade pip by writing this i'll be able to uh, upgrade my pip okay so for that first get into the script folder by doing a change directory cd i have shown that and then i have shown you the how do you install a camel case or any package in you for one example i have given of camel case how do you install a package okay pip install and the uh, package name if you write it is going to install so these are the couple of things that we have learned uh, right so please do continue with my channel i have got a lot of stuff for you to learn in python so please do subscribe today and do not forget to give it a like to this video thank you we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye